This screencast is a demonstration of Solus Hybrid Cloud connectivity using a global retail application. It will use a Solus Virtual Message Router, or VMR, running in the AWS Public Cloud, which will connect to a Solus Message Router appliance running in an on-premise data center. The retail application will be powered by MuleSoft's AnyPoint platform integrated with Solus. I'd also like to take a second and thank John Demick of MuleSoft who kindly helped me pull together various aspects of this demo. So let's explore the chosen use case, diving into the need for hybrid cloud messaging. In this case, I have a global e-commerce example with a company that sells products around the world. This might be a luxury goods retailer, or a worldwide pharmaceutical company, or a consumer electronics company. The application exposes a RESTful API hosted in MuleSoft Cloud Hub integration platform as a service which, among other things, provides access to a product catalog and allows orders to be placed. Users connect via mobile applications or web browsers and can browse a catalog of products. In order to have a responsive application, the catalog is cached regionally in the AWS public cloud. The catalog cache can be replicated or pushed from HQ using persistent messages, following a PubSub paradigm over the same Solus messaging fabric as is used for order processing. The high rate fan out in this use case is exactly the kind of thing the Solus hardware is very good at. Here I've shown the main data center and DR site using Solus message router appliances for scale and performance. For smaller applications without the global scale, the main data centers could use Solus VMRs. The right Solus message router can be chosen depending on the requirements of each use case. The Solus VMR is used in the AWS cloud since a software message router is required in the public cloud. When users place an order, this order becomes a call to the application's RESTful API in Cloud Hub. Mule then processes the order. In this example, standard orders can be fulfilled locally using in-region inventory. Custom orders need to be routed to HQ for fulfillment. Mule processes the order and dynamically applies the correct message topic before sending the message to Solus. The Solus VMR in AWS routes the custom orders to HQ where it can be then processed and a copy is automatically sent to the disaster recovery location. Now let's look at a single region in a little more detail. There are many different e-commerce architectures. This slide shows a simplified overview of a microservices architecture. There are two key aspects to the customer interactions around orders. Some aspects of an order are required to be synchronous. These steps must be completed prior to returning to the customer. Examples of this are shown in blue on this slide. For example, credit card authorization. However, most events can be handled asynchronously, as in the typical event distribution architecture. Examples of these are shown with the orange arrows on this slide. For this, a deferred execution message bus is a great fit, and the Solus VMR in the cloud connected with Solus hardware message routers in the data center make an ideal uniform PubSub message bus for handling event distribution. One of the really nice features of the uniform message bus is if you discover a need to say move your storm real-time analytics now shown in red from the data center into the cloud for performance or regulatory reasons there is very little impact on other services in the system. Just spin it up in the cloud and adjust the Solus configuration. Messaging just naturally flows to the analytics new home in the cloud. It's that simple. So let me now demonstrate Solus hybrid cloud messaging. In order to keep focused on this key aspect, I've further simplified the e-commerce example. In my demo, the mobile application makes an order in the form of a REST API call hosted in Cloud Hub. This is handled by Mule flows, which translate the incoming order into an asynchronous event. The Mule flow then publishes the event to the Solus VMR and returns a response to the mobile application. The Solus VMR routes the event to the required destinations. This includes the recommendation engine running in the cloud, which in this demo is simply mocked to log Solus messages, and the event is sent back to HQ. When the order arrives at the Solus hardware message router, the message is correctly routed to the Mule ESB process in addition to the logging application. Again, for simplicity, I've configured the Mule worker flow to simply output the messages it receives. Okay, so first, let's look at how we get a Solus virtual message router running in the Amazon public cloud. So I've got here the Amazon Web Services or AWS dashboard, and we'll go into EC2 for compute. And here, I've already got a single instance of Solus VMR running, 
and it's configured for the demonstration, but uh, we'll just walk through the steps to launch an instance. The Solus VMR ships as a virtual machine image, which is easily imported as an Amazon machine image. I have already done that, so I'll select this and start it up. The Solus VMR will maximize the available resources of the virtual machine, so you can choose any Amazon image that meets their minimum requirements. For the purposes of the demo, I'll choose a T2 medium. And then the defaults are in general OK. I'll just customize the name and security. We need to provide access, so I'll just enable the basic access for admin and messaging. And we'll launch it. I'll choose an existing pair that I already have. And the instance is launched. So we can see that the instance is now starting up and initializing. And Amazon will go off and spin up this VM and report back when it is running. And we'll pause now and rejoin this when it's already running. OK, the Solus VMR is now started in AWS. And if we select it, we can see the details of the Solus VMR. And if we now open up Sol Admin, we can manage the Solus VMR. And we'll see that the VMR looks just like a regular Solus message router or hardware message router. It has the same Sol Admin screens. And the details are available. So now let's switch over and see our retail e-commerce example. During the demo, I'll use the graphic on the right to highlight the component that I'm working on to make it easier to follow the flow. All right, so I have Sol Admin here, which is our GUI administration tool for Solus message routers. And I've got the two message routers already managed. The Solus VMR is here in the public cloud, as you can see from the platform. And the hardware message router that is in the Solus data center is here, as indicated again by the platform. We have a 3260 hardware message router. I'm not going to dive into the details of every step required for pre-configuration of the demo. There are other screencasts that introduce Solus management of the message routers. But in general, it's key to keep in mind that you can do everything that I'm doing in the GUI here using CLI or our RESTful SEMP interface, which is a programmatic interface that can be scripted and automated. So to connect the Solus Data Center appliance to the cloud, we need to create a bridge. And then within the bridge, we need to make a connection to the Solus VMR running in AWS. OK, with that done, we now refresh. And you'll see that the queue is up, ready, and bound. Let's switch over to the VMR running in the cloud. And you can see, if we refresh, that we now have the bridge client that is ready to receive messages. And if we look at the endpoints, you can see that the queue for the bridge to Solus Data Center has one client bound. So the bridge is up and ready for messaging. Now it's time to send some messages. Here you have the AnyPoint Studio. And in here, I have the retail API project that I'm use, going to use for this demo. It is a RAML API, or RESTful API, designed using API Kit. And you can see that it's actually a fully specified API. But I'm going to focus in on one aspect, the checkout where an order is being placed. And in this case, and when an order is placed, it needs a pickup location and a list of items. Each item has a SKU, a price, a quantity, and whether the item is customized or not. When a call is made to check out, then this comes to this flow here. The flow will translate the JSON to a map, then iterate over each item in the map. And based on whether the item is a custom order or not, We'll either process it as a following the custom order flow and eventually send it to the Solus JMS on the topic T orders custom. And if it's just a regular order, it will follow the regular order simple order processing. 
and then be sent to Solus on a slightly different topic, T orders simple, and then Solus will be able to route the message based on topic. I have loaded this project into Cloud Hub and it is already started and I have the API console up and running here and we can use this console to inject messages into the system. Before I do that, let's start up some of the required processes that are going to receive the messages. In the cloud, I will use our internal Solus test tool called SDK Perf JMS. This test tool is a capable test tool that will receive and dump messages to the screen. In this case, it will look up a JNDI destination and connect to the AWS Solus VMR and print any messages it receives on the recommendations engine queue. In the Solus data center, I have a mule worker already up and running and it is logging every message that it receives. And if we tail the log, we can see new entries. In the, again, in the Solus data center, I will use another instance of our JMS test tool to bind to the queue for all the logging and print messages to the screen. For the mule worker that is running in the Solus data center, it will receive from JMS and log the output to the screen. It's just a simple worker. So now with all the processes running, I will post a message into the REST API running in Cloud Hub and it'll respond back successful. And we can now switch and you will see that the message was received in the recommendations engine running in the cloud. It was also received in both the mule worker and the Solus data center here and in the logger again in the Solus data center. And you can see that the map inside the message is exactly as desired. Now if we switch back to Solus and we now go to the Solus appliance running in the data center, we can look at the bridge queue, we can look at the statistics, and we can see that one persistent message was received. And lastly, if we go to Cloud Hub, Cloud Hub has some nice insight into each application. We can look at the most recent event, and it actually traces the event through the Cloud Hub worker that is sending the message to the Solus VMR. The flow begins, it processes the message, it parses the information from the message for the custom order, it then sends the message to the Solus JMS on the topic of T orders custom and returns a response back to the, the caller. So that is end to end messaging through Cloud Hub in AWS to a Solus VMR, bridged to a Solus appliance in the data center, and delivered to a mule worker application in the Solus data center. So to wrap up, what I've shown you today is how the Solus virtual message routers can easily be deployed in the public cloud environments. Once running, operationally, they look and feel the same as Solus message router appliances. Additionally, you can easily connect the VMR and hardware message routers together, which quickly provides easy message-driven connectivity for hybrid cloud environments. And if you combine this with products like MuleSoft's AnyPoint platform, you can quickly build global applications that leverage the best of the public cloud combined with the security and control of the private data center in one interconnected hybrid cloud. Thank you for watching this video. You can find out more information about Solus messaging products through this link.